Hi friends, recently I was planning to build a powerful audio amplifier with a decent bass tone control. I wanted it to be simple and easy to build as well as low cost. So after a bit of research, I came across with a solution which was using TDA2050 audio amplifier IC which is a single 32 watt power audio amplifier and can deliver power up to 35 watts which was not my requirement. So I decided to use two ICs in bridge mode which can deliver power up to 70 watts. So in this video, I will make a stereo audio power amplifier using two bridge amplifiers which can be able to deliver up to 70 watts of power to each channel and I will also make a decent bass tone control using op amp and a few more components. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by Next PCB, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturer in China. Super excited to tell you that as a new website, Next PCB offers you a PCB prototype with $0, which means you could get a PCB prototype for free. They're doing that just to let you have your first trial order to try their high quality PCB and wonderful service. Next PCB is a real PCB manufacturer with more than 15 years experience in PCB and PCB assembly service. Since Next PCB promises the PCB safety with ISO 14001 and ISO 9001 and UL certifications, so that the PCB quality will be your last thing to worry about. Next PCB also covers PCB manufacturing, sourcing component, PCB assembly, testing, and final shipment. So hurry up, sign up to get your first trial order on nextpcb.com. Next PCB $0 prototype link is in the description. Click it to try high quality PCB for free. If you haven't subscribed, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. To make this project easy and professional looking, I decided to make PCBs for this project. So I open up Proteus and go to component mode and then pick device mode and select all required components. After that, I connect all components together according to the circuit diagram. First, I created the bridge amplifier with two ICs. Then I copy it to make the second channel after that, I made the split power supply using four diodes and two 2200 microfarad electrolytic capacitors as well as two 1 nanofarad non-polar capacitors. Then I make the base tone filter using 50k stereo potentiometers and 4558 IC which contain two op amps, one for each channel. After completing the schematic diagram, I go to PCB layout designer and started placing the footprints to desired places. After placing all the footprints of the components to desired places, I go to auto routing mode and auto route the copper tracks. After a few adjustments, my PCB was ready. Then I generated the Gerber files and go to nextpcb.com website. Then I click on sign up button and put my email address and password. And then click on sign up. After signing up, you will get a $5 coupon. After that, go to PCB instant code and put all required parameters such as material, layer count, PCB size, board type, quantity, thickness, solder mask color, silk screen color and a few more options. After that, click on add to cart. Now add your PCB files and click on submit order now. 
After that, your order will be added to the cart and reviewed within 5 to 10 minutes. After that, you can do payments by clicking on payment and selecting your desired shipping and payment method.